Hello everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, this is the card that I've been making today. It is a piano keyboard card, and if you open it up inside, we have a nice piece of music, and that is in fact a piece of keyboard music. I've checked. Uh, and if you want to see how I made it, stay with me and I'll show you. I have a piece of basic black which is five inches by seven and a half and I've gone ahead and scored and folded it at the five inch mark and that is the way that my, the front of my card is going to sit. Um, now normally I would do my stamping and embossing last of all but this time I'm going to do it first because it's going to be that much easier to do it than to try and do it after the card is finished. So I'm using uh, a stamp from Balloon Celebration. I'm going to use the Happy Birthday uh, for no reason other than I like that font. I think it's very, uh, very attractive and I think it goes very well with the theme of the card. And I have Versamark ink. So inking up my stamp and I've put my embossing buddy over my card blank and I'm just going to try and centre that more or less and do you know what I'm not going to worry if I get a jaunty angle I'm not because again it adds to the the handcrafted look I have gold embossing powder oops which has making a bid for freedom and uh, bring this over my my little pot here and it's quite hot and humid today and I'm feeling rather hot and sticky so I'm quite glad that that didn't stick to my fingers and before I do anything else I'm going to get a cloth and I'm going to wipe away this gold embossing powder because I will wind up with a gold embossed table and that is not the idea. So here's my heat too. And there we are. The ivory keys on my piano uh, are going to be these pieces of a very vanilla card which are three quarters of an inch by three inches and I did experiment a bit with rounding the rounding the corners to see if I like that as a look but when I lay them all out I actually I preferred them like that I preferred them with the square corners so that's the way that I'm going to to set them out but of course it's a choice you can do uh, whatever you like if you prefer them that way so I'm going to try and get them reasonably evenly spaced with a little bit of black between them and I found that if I cut six piano keys they would work out quite nicely and give me the look that I wanted so I'm going to stick them down with my snail and while I'm doing that I will give you some music to listen to and I will try and find piano music that would be nice wouldn't it After a bit of adjustment and fiddling around with things I'm satisfied with the placement of my white keys and this was one of the reasons why I used snail rather than fast foods or anything else because it it's quite forgiving until you actually kind of burnish it down uh, so it gave me a bit of time to, to move things around when they weren't quite where they, I wanted them so now I have my black keys and this, these are bits of basic black which I've punched out with the new classic label punch which is new in this year's annual catalogue and I'm going to put these with on with some snail and I'm going to start with uh, this one I'm going to put the point of the punch out level with the top of the key and this first one I'm going to line up right to the edge of my black card 
pattern and then I'm going to do the same thing at the other side of the card with this one You can see these bits are, are flapping up here. Don't worry because we're going to be dealing with those. All right. So my next black key is going to. I'm going to miss this one, and I'm going to put it here. And this one is going to go right here, right next to it. And this one is going to go along about here. So I'm trying to get the, the points on the, the label lined up with the gaps between the white keys. And that way they kind of blend into the card background and they start to look like black keys on a keyboard. I want to tidy up the inside of the card now. Uh, so I have a piece of basic black which is five inches by three quarters of an inch and I'm going to oops, apply some fast fuse which doesn't want to pull apart for some reason. I don't know what happened there. And I'm just going to put this just over the top of my keyboard just like that so it just neatens it all and makes it look nice and tidy and I have a piece of, of paper here this is from the this Christmas designer series paper set and I've cut it to two and a quarter by four and three quarters of an inch and that is going to sit on the inside of my card, just like that. And uh, although it's although it's a packaged as a as a Christmas paper, um, quite a bit of it is uh, is is useful all year round, and certainly the music paper. It definitely is right. So the card is nearly finished. I just want to give people somewhere to write a greeting on the inside so for that I have a scrap of very vanilla which is uh, two and a quarter of an inch by uh, four and three quarters of an inch and I'm just going to stick that onto the flap of my card with some snail because the fast fuse and I have quarreled Now I can write my message on that flap here. Because we've got a few layers of paper going on here, this card does not really want to lie flat. And I'm not comfortable with that. I want my cards to stay closed when I want them to be closed. So I've cut a length of uh, the real red stitched ribbon, which is an absolutely stunning colour. And I'm going to wrap it around my card. And I'm going to tie a knot. I did contemplate tying a bow, but somehow I just thought a knot looked better. So here we go. And if you've got a, a friend or member of your family handy who could put their finger on that knot for you, it will make it a little bit easier. But nevertheless, we can manage. So how's that? Yeah, that's okay. So I'm going to bring in my snips. And I'm just going to cut the length and that, I think, is pretty much it. Here's the finished card and I think that would be a very nice card to give to anybody who has got an interest in keyboard music or perhaps learning to play a keyboard instrument. And I would also say that it's a gender neutral card. It would be a good card for um, a lady or for one of the gentlemen in your lives. 
Uh, and that is it for today. I do hope that you've enjoyed this project. And if so, please do give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, consider subscribing to my channel. I would be thrilled to bits if you do. Uh, I have a blog and I have a Facebook page and I also have an online Stampin' Up! shop and you can get to any of those from the more information box below. But for now, thank you very, very much for joining me and I hope that I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.